Hello people, this is Lion Styles and this is a review on a commentator. So I guess you can say it's a commentator's under review. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Equipped with nothing but a Z-Star pitcher, today's commentator is going to be Shadowstar1224, aka that guy that actually sounds more boring than Chaotic Renegade. Two things happen when you listen to a Shadowstar commentary. One, he'll nitpick the shit out of it, and two, he will sound boring as hell while doing it. And chances are, if not all of his videos, it's all of the above. And he actually said one time, it's what he says that's more important than how he says it. Well, that's like me taking an Xbox 360 game that is downright shit and saying that the graphics are more important than the gameplay. You know it's not. You see... It's important how you say what you're going to say because if you make a point that you want everybody to hear and you sound boring as hell by doing it, not a lot of people are going to pay attention to what you say. But if you sound, you know, entertaining and you sound excited and hyper and all that other stuff, they're going to listen to what you say because you're keeping them entertained. You think somebody's going to be entertained by this for every five minutes? No, they're going to X out the video or go to sleep. Another thing about Shadowstar is that some of his commentaries are indeed unnecessary. Um, the Copper Cab Slap Happy Gamer commentary, that was unnecessary because, well, all it did was cause a flame war. But he never paid attention to it because, well, he believed that he was right. See, this is the problem with most of these commentators. They can give criticism, but they can't take criticism. Like I always do, I'm going to show you clips of Shadowstar's commentaries. And if you can actually stay awake from them, you'll get a cookie. So when you make this video, are you going to continue to speak in the same monotone voice? You're expecting him to have an exciting voice? You know, not everyone has an exciting voice, you know, or at least an entertaining one. Oh, I am sorry for having a monotone voice. In all seriousness, what I say is much more important than how I say it. Okay, people, so apparently, um, whatever you have on your face, your hair, apparently that's a race. So now I should be saying, I know I'm a brunette, okay? I know I have tits, okay? I know I have a vagina, okay? It doesn't make me white or black. Yeah, but what's wrong with saying that you're a ginger? And clever human being speaking for me, thank you very much. What's with the spur of insults? Sure, he messed up in thinking that ginger was a race, but I've seen people make mistakes with races all the time. Some people would say that the French are a race, some would say Americans, some would say British. But those are cultures, not races. He and those people are confused. They're not stupid. So you don't have to. This is one of those movies that doesn't even need an introduction. I don't need to say anything about it. All you gotta do is look at the fucking cover. If you didn't laugh your ass off looking at this, then call the insane asylum, they've been looking for you. I'm gonna tally how many times he says, if you like this movie, you're insane. We're already at number one. Okay, guys, so those were Shadow Star's commentaries. Those were actually from his commentary on a commentary on Slap Happy Gamer. The other one was on Sonic and Tales for Life and Transformers Fanco. And the other one was his commentary on the Nostalgia Critic. So... If you want to really look at this guy's work, his channel is in a link below this video. Alright, guys, let's get down to the grading. I give Shadow Star a A for effort, and his overall grade will be a D minus. Yes, I know, quite shocking, isn't it? And I bet you're all wondering, loud and after all the crap you kinda said about him, why did you give him a decent score like a D minus? Why not an F? Well, it's because he comes up with pretty good points. The problem is, when you sound like a monotone, nitpicking douchebag, your point kind of loses itself. And that, my darlings, was a C.U.R. on Shadowstar1224. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. God knows I did. I'm Lounge Styles, here to tell you all that I'm the token black guy of no more commentaries, and Giggles the Hedgehog wants to live in the nation of Johnny K. Goodbye.